How to save an unstructured email. With the correct database properties, including an attachment file, with one click to your Notion database, where you have all the important information on the page, including a structured to-do list to easily work of the tasks from the email. Let's get started. You save. All right, first we will create the database for our task list. For the name, simply write task name. Then, a simple date field called due date. And a relation property that is linked to our customer database. The status field is not used by the USAVE extension, but it's nice to have. The email contains the information we need, but it is not structured, so we will do that with USAVE automatically. Open the USAVE extension, click on Add Database, and select the task list database we just created, called My Task List. If we wanted to create several database entries, we could open the bulk view, but since we only create one, we click on Single View. For the content source, we have different options to choose from, but since our email is displayed as text in the browser, we select Web Page. For the content on the Notion page itself, we can leave it empty, or select the email itself, or select Custom to let our AI create it for us. To do that, we need to give it a prompt. Here we use Create a Task List from the email. For each task, include a checkbox with the task description, followed by a quote of the relevant part from the email. Do this for each task. Include the full original email text as a quote block. You will find that in the video description. Next, on to the database properties. As we can see, they are displayed in our UI. Here, we could manually select the customer, include a date or date range, add a title, and create the database entry. But here, we will use the autofill feature to map the email to our properties. To do that, we simply click on autofill and wait for the AI to map it. We got the correct properties and a descriptive title as well. Oftentimes, we want to save the attachment as well. In this case, the logo we are supposed to add is attached as an image file. We can add this to our Notion as well. In order to do that, we simply check the attachment file at the bottom before we click on Save to Notion. Once saved, we will see the entry in our Notion database. The AI filled out the title, due date, and linked the correct customer. On the page itself, the attachment file was added and uploaded to our Notion storage, which is quite handy. Also, we see our action items listed as to-do items, together with the relevant part of the email. And at the bottom, the original email in case we need it. See you in the next one.